Okay, so maybe in the last few videos, you've noticed the, the bend pack name um, on the hoists and on the lift mechanism that we're using. Um, so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the hoists. We have two hoists. This is the five ton or 10,000 pound hoist. And then just on the other side of the black wall there, we've got the, uh, the cyber truck sitting uh, 12,000 pound uh, bend packed hoist. So what's different about this what are these, what's the differences between this and the, and, the, uh, and the hoist we had before? One of them that I like is that the arms that come out are more compact. They, um, they don't take up as much room and they actually fold pretty much flat. These things are great if you happen to be trying to get a large car or a large vehicle of sorts in here and then you've got to scoot out because these move, right? <clears throat> All these things pull out and I've noticed that I'm not sure exactly how they've done it but I've noticed that when I pull them out they seem to be easier much easier than what we had in the, in the past so the 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 lift arms are I like them the way they are um, on here we've got uh, something a little different and that's a, a push button which I like that uh, the idea here is uh, push one button and not switch switches. I'm, I'm not a fan of switches. Um, everything else, the release and the, um, and the power is pretty much the same. Um, if we go back over here, we're gonna be looking at all of the, um, all the different attachments that we've got for the different types of lifts that we're gonna need to do. So sometimes you're gonna use uh, just the pads that are on there. Sometimes we use these little extensions. You can see them here. And what they do is they just, they kind of fold into each other. So you can get, you can get all kinds of sizes that, uh, different sizes for, for different mating surfaces. And then we've got other attachments that fit on top that, uh, that will go into, these are go into a bow tie or what we call a bow tie. All these different arrangements are already, they come complete with the package. So I'm pretty happy and, um, and we, we, just, we just lowered this thing. This is the battery pack from the uh, cyber truck. And uh, now I'm gonna get out of the way. And yeah. it's all yours, Julian. Yeah, thank you. So we've also got, in addition to the, the hoist here, we've got a lift table. Uh, so this is a newer version of one that uh, you've probably seen in some of our previous teardown videos. Uh, there are a couple new features here uh, that weren't present on the initial uh, lift table that uh, I personally think have improved the experience. Again, having quite literally just minutes ago dropped the Cybertruck battery out of the vehicle itself. Uh, so a couple of things that I wanted to talk about here, uh, namely, uh, I think the first one that comes to mind is uh, the fact that while lowering this, you can see that it's obviously a pretty big battery pack. If we come up to the front here, Eric, <clears throat> one of the things that I did appreciate is the fact that we have a, uh, a much larger arm for uh, both moving and articulating the table when it's in its normal position. However, uh, this actually, uh, and an issue that we had with the uh, sort of singular stock style handle on the old version was that it would sometimes be uh, impede sort of being able to center the battery pack on the table. Uh, and it was a little more cumbersome to, to move and remove. Uh, this one actually doesn't detach. Instead, you take out some pins and you can actually slide it and it stays stored with the table so previously we would have to find a place to put the arm if we uh, you know didn't have the space to use it now it stays with the table so that's excellent uh, really enhances the maneuverability uh, one thing additionally that we noticed is that the table actually sits a little bit higher than the predecessor that we've used so uh, that can in some instances make it a little more difficult when we're trying to maneuver uh, so again we've got a height restriction with the, the hoists here and so like if you're dropping a battery like this which may still have have the seats attached that can uh, make things a little cumbersome but I mean it's a it's a fairly minor uh, nitpick again 
you've got a lot of lift table here that you're trying to package. And, um, you know, I think that's, I would say, a very minor uh, point of note. Um, Actually, one thing that you should note is that this is up at 42 inches, which means that I can drop something down. And this is the most comfortable height for an operator to work on. Mm -hmm. So I like the idea that it's this high. It, it, to me, it, that's an advantage. Exactly. Although we, I mean, we never, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, nobody has ever seen anything like the uh, seats on right. uh, before. So this to me is a good deal. I, li I, I like the way this looks. And we do also have a, a slightly different perspective on the use case for this, where we're removing things uh, and for our specific needs, we don't necessarily need all of the features or the specific features that might be needed for if this was installing it or if this was for more of a service related job, obviously tearing it down. We don't have to take as many uh, can, can things into consideration as if we were trying to service this pack. Um, but one additional thing uh, here that uh, actually, again, came in handy, as you can see, we've got some rubber blocks to make sure that we've got some compliance with the leveling. We don't want too much sliding here on this uh, machine plastic sheet. It is fairly smooth, and even with a pack this heavy, you do have some features on the underside that make it not a totally smooth interface. So being able to use these blocks, but also having the ability to level each individual corner. Uh, again, with the ground not being entirely level, this means that we can take the actual platform the battery will be sitting on and make sure that we don't end up with uh, any kind of lopsided uh, uh, interface because otherwise, say the front or the rear was a little bit higher or lower, we'd have to raise the entire bed up and that runs the risk of us actually lifting with the table, uh, the pack or the vehicle off of the hoist, which from a safety perspective obviously isn't as ideal. Um, I would say one of the last things that, uh, at least again, this is more of a, a consideration for the kind of work that we do here, uh, but the control for the uh, up and down motion uh, is uh, fairly similar to what we had with the previous version. And uh, this is, it's great. It's got great control. The speed is, is honestly, it's, um, uh, not too slow, not too fast, but in certain circumstances when we're trying to uh, lower the battery pack or make sure that, uh, you know, get the table lined up just right, this is more of a, I would say, a coarse uh, sort of height control. And uh, if there were a fine sort of uh, more like a minute adjustment for the, the height as we're going up and down, trying to get the placement of the table uh, as accurate as possible, I think that would potentially, uh, you know, make some of this, uh, this type of work a little bit easier. But I would say all in all, there's not really much to, uh, to nitpick about this. It's an incredible tool. It's made our jobs a lot easier relative to some of the tools that we had to use in the past. So uh, Sandy, I don't know if you have any closing notes, but uh, I think that uh, we're, we're overall very, very pleased with the, the tools that BenPak has provided us. I believe that um, everything we've had in the past is an antique in comparison to this. And, um, and that's a fact and I've used I haven't used this one. In fact, this is the first time we've used it. Um, and so you're hearing firsthand what we thought, but um, nothing we've had to date, including the old bin pack, um, uh, was as good as this. This, yeah. this thing is really brilliant. It's got everything we could possibly ask for. I love the fact that it's got a tri-wheel system instead of a single wheel. This is really good for massive amounts of, uh, of load. I like the locks as well. Those locks look uh, plenty beefy, and um, and I was watching guys, you know, uh, putting them down and then releasing them later on. Everything here works, I think, exceedingly well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Ben Pack, thank you very much for these uh, wonderful lift table and hoist. And anything else, Julian? Uh, I think the final note that I just want to make a point of, and you can't see it because we've got the table all the way down, but I think something that I personally appreciated was the fact that we now have uh, for a locking mechanism, when you have this sort of scissor table all the way up and you've got the weight of the pack on it, there was uh, there's a, a sort of a ratchet mechanism to lock it as a safety yeah. mechanism. Before, the way that you would engage that is you would have to go underneath and flip it into a certain position. Now there's a solenoid control for that, so much like you can have the control for the height uh, at, at a remote position, you can engage the lock and disengage it remote without having to go underneath. So uh, that just from a, a convenience, but also just from a general um, you know safety perspective, not having to go under and inside the, uh, the scissor mechanism for the table while you have uh, something this massive on top of it, um, it it's just uh, sort of a uh, uh, you know comfort to, to be able to do that. No, I, uh, think, remote, I think so. it's brilliant. I love those kinds of things. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, no, those are those are my final thoughts. But overall, very pleased with uh, with what we've got here. So again, thanks, Ben Past. And uh, if you're uh, interested in uh, in a lift table or a hoist, um, I, I'd highly recommend uh, you go and uh, check out the uh, bin pack, uh, what would you call it, selection. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching.